Pitch one for one call. Introducing first to Mark Wright at a total now. combined weight of 478 Obviously, pounds. Obviously, as a tag from team Washington, in the Tommy Savannah. Angel. That's what my educated guess would be, McMahon. His partner from Raleigh, North Carolina, really? Bob Emery. He'll be making some sort of announcement. And now I give you Bobby the Brain Heenan. Who would want him? You know, I told you that the Bobby the Brain Heenan family was going to grow. And I said, my family is going to get bigger and tougher as the weeks go on. Right now, two of the newest members of the Bobby the Brain Heenan family. First, Tully Blanchard, Aaron Anderson, collectively known now as the Brain Busters. Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson, the Brain Busters, is that what he called them? That's what he called them, McMahon. Well, the Heenan family is indeed growing by leaps and bounds just a couple of weeks ago. The Red Rooster was introduced. Heenan hoping to prove with the rooster that he can take what he calls an individual with limited ability and through his guidance take him all the way to the top rung of the ladder. Here with the brain busters, I'm sure he has aspirations perhaps even higher than that for this tag team combination. Well, I'm sure Bobby's aspirations are the tag team championships. We had an occasion before the broadcast this week to speak with the brain busters and Bobby the brain Heenan, so we're told. And we're just about ready to pick up their commentary. I told you I had a surprise, didn't I? And nobody else smarts the brain. Here are my brain busters. The smartest, the best looking, and the best. Get used to it. We didn't come in to fill any voids. What we are is the cement of an already profound dynasty, I guarantee you. Kind of an interesting thought there. The cement of a profound dynasty. Well, right now, it's like Kelly Blanchard going in reverse. Tag was made there off the rope. Oh, but look at, look at the small. Was that a slick maneuver, McMahon? Yes, it was. <laughs> Made the tag, suckered the guy in, and Arn Anderson came in from behind and reverse clotheslined him. Very sneaky. That's how you win. Notice the communications. You heard that one. Give me a knee. Yep. That's what tag teams have to do. They got to communicate in the ring. Drop kick, nicely done by Blanchard. Blanchard spreading about the squared circle. Sort of an arrogant type individual. Well, you know why that is, McMahon. He used to be a quarterback. He used to be a quarterback. Oh, they both go down low. I know a little about these two guys, you know. I do my homework. That's right. He used to be a quarterback down in the Texas high school league. Guy. Played against Tommy Kramer of the Vikings. Football in Texas is tough football. So is wrestling down there. Maneuver missed by Angel. Arn Anderson wasn't sitting still for that one, McMahon. Anderson and Blanchard, veteran tag team partners. And we'll get a little look now at Bob Emery. Emery doing a little bit better than Angel did earlier, setting him up. Oh, wow. And that was an elbow. It certainly was. That's, that's what you get if you drop your head on a backdrop move like that. Arn Anderson tagging in Tully Blanchard. And Emery could be suffering a few bruised ribs as a result of that last maneuver. Whoa! Slingshot suplex to cover. Hooks the leg and he gets a three count. He is Here happy. are the winners, Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson. The Brain Buster! Buster's victorious. Let's take another look at the slingshot suplex. There you see Iron Anderson, obviously the power man of the team, as you can see right there. Tags out the Tully Blanchard, a little finesse move. Added spring off that top rope suplex. One, two, three. In just a moment, we're going to take you to Mean Gene Oakland, ladies and gentlemen, for an update on...